at you, my IT team. I'm the new head of this department. I am the head of this department. I thought I was. There will be some piece of evidence that will prove without any shadow of a doubt that you don't know anything about computers. What are you doing? Plugging in your computer. Hello, computer. <laughs> Hello. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? You, you do know how a button works, don't you? Welcome back to the lab with Leo. Franklin Harris is the uh, chief troublemaker at digitalunderground.tv, which is a video podcast all about the underground, hacking and so forth. Took apart an iPhone. You Next crazy month, yeah. guys, Next you month. wild and wacky guys. Now he's going to show us something that I, ha I think has absolutely no use, but what the heck? Do it because <laughs> you can. He put a USB port on an alarm clock. I give, why do you need an alarm USB port on your alarm clock? I go to bed every night. I listen to my so iPod. So do I. You know, that's a, that's, we have some things in common. But yes. I listen to my iPod. Oh, I wake yes, so up every I. morning, yeah. and what? My iPod's dead. Oh, yeah. So, oh, this is know, for charging. It's for charging. Anything. My wife suggested to me. This sounds what? really she, risky. Well, it can be. If you don't know what you're doing, you have to be real careful. <laughs> okay. Uh, so my wife suggested, why, you know, you put USB ports and everything else. Yeah. Why don't you put one in the alarm clock? This Your really wife good. thought this My up? wife thought this Now, up. by the way, I want to apologize to Frank's wife, who may not have arisen at an, on time this morning, because he has the alarm yeah, clock. Yeah, I've actually got our alarm clock here. Did you have any trouble getting this through uh, the security? Absolutely none whatsoever. They, uh, it's at Frank's Adventures in Airport Security. Every time he comes out here with his stuff. Yeah, but this time, they didn't, they didn't notice there was a No, they didn't notice USB that there was two port. USB ports. I guess it was just <laughs> cut so This is great. You don't expect that on an alarm clock. Wow, that's really cool. All right, so uh, that's for charging. It's not, it's not an input port or a It's not an import, okay. it's strictly charging only. Okay. Um, now, if you want to do this at home, it's actually quite simple. You need to make sure, though, one of the prerequisites you need is an alarm clock with a power supply that is anywhere between 9 volts to 12 volts DC. That's is there the a way to know that? Not beforehand. Uh, some of them, some of the more, more might expensive say the, models the... might say, most of them don't. Okay. But you know what? Most of them are. Most of them, okay. if, usually if it contains a battery backup device, yeah. then it usually is 9 volts DC. Okay. Because that's okay. how the, the backup unit works. Yeah. So it's a very simple procedure once we are able to snap all this off. And is it pretty straightforward getting into most alarm clocks? Very, very, very straightforward. All right. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take a little multimeter <laughs> and you kind of want to just fiddle around I until you find uh, the actual uh, power source okay. internally on the alarm clock, okay. which in this unit happened to be there. And right, you're going to want to purchase. Get, let's get a good shot because your arm is in the way here. We're going right to this camera right there. here. I don't actually want to touch it unless you want to call an ambulance. Don't touch it. Is it plugged right. in? It's plugged in right now, yeah. Well, what are you, what are you crazy? I'm a trained professional. <laughs> don't try this at home. Unplug uh, the alarm clock before you do this. And the key to all this is something called a 7805 voltage regulator. Okay. That's, that's this little thing. What now this you can buy that at electronic stores? Anywhere from Radio Shack to uh, any of your local electronic stores. What this thing does is it takes anywhere between 9 volts to 12 volts DC and steps it down to 5 volts DC. And that's what you need for the, the iPod. That's far, right. Or for, actually for any, any USB. Any USB device. Okay. That's so this will USB charge device. any USB device that gets charged over the year. Any USB device. You take okay. your little USB device. Plug it in there. You plug it in one of these ports. And look, it's charging. And there you it go. Says, it says it. You it can says see it's it. charging. So this, the, you're taking the power from the transformer. From the transformer. And you're running it through the step. But you have to split it, right? So that the power still goes to the clock? Well, yeah. You just find the actual contact points right there. I'm not actually uh, removing any of the internal wiring. I'm just adding uh, a positive and a negative wire that go to the 7805 on the actual power okay, contact so let me, ports. Let me right point there. out what you're doing. So, because you're, you're getting in the way. So where, where is it? There, this it's is the, right these there. Are the contact Those points are the right two there. contact points. Actually, on this board, it's clearly labeled DC positive and DC negative. So it wasn't a very hard thing to figure out. So the red and the black. That's right. Red is positive, black is negative. That's right. Comes and into the uh, 7805 voltage regulator. The regulator there. Can you zoom in a little bit so that can, we can see that a little bit better? I don't, maybe we can't. I don't know. There you go. So that's all that is, is that little thing that's a step down. It's like 15 cents to buy. Okay, cool. And then, you, so you're splitting it, and then the second thing will go to the, these USB. That's right. Now, wh wh uh, what is, how, where do you get that? Same place? Say electronic stores. Okay. I mean, it's nothing and, more. And how did you cut a hole in your clock? Uh, with uh, a, a very sharp tool. knife. No, no? Knife, actually. A sharp yeah, knife. very sharp a knife. A hunting knife. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. A very yeah, sharp knife. And, and so you, you cut the, the square out right. here, and then this is a compression 
fitting. That's right, Scott. As you can tell, the little ridges on either side that actually lock it into place. So you there. don't actually have to glue it or anything like that. You might just want by, to by if you snapping it in, it holds sure it into place. Come flying. Yeah, because you you do put some you know put pressure on that, pulling it and stuff. That's right. So total cost. Buck fifty. Buck twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> Buck twenty five. Total satisfaction one hundred percent. When you plug in your iPod and or it's cell charging, phone or iPhone or anything. anything, anything. Yeah. Anything. That's right. I could charge my iPhone. That's right. Never that's wake very up cool. with a dead iPod again. All right. Now I know all that went a little bit fast. We also want to make sure that the, this is only for people who have some experience with this kind of thing. There will be soldering involved. Yes, Don't not will. for not for young children unsupervised. Uh, you'll also be fooling around with power. AC power, which can blow you across the room and kill you. So be very careful. Yeah, my but hair, my hair isn't naturally <laughs> like this. <laughs> it's usually pretty flat. <laughs> yeah. Details online at thelabwithleo.com. Franklin Harris loves to hack things, and you can see anybody who put a USB port in his alarm clock clearly has a, an issue of some kind. I'm quite quite figure out what that is. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. We'll see you soon. He's going to come back with more hacks for us. Meanwhile, let's take a look at something very very close up and figure out what the tech it is. What is this? Hmm, something commonly found around the lab? We'll zoom out and find out when the Lab with Leo continues. You stay here.